years ago, when I first ran for public office, I was asked a very simple question. Did I support marriage equality? And at that time and continuing on, my answer has remained the same. Yes, I support marriage equality for people in the state of Illinois. And so I joined a fight that many of you have been involved in for years to ensure that all people in our state, regardless of their gender, regardless of their sexual orientation, have equal rights under our law. And so we have worked together to amend the Illinois Human Rights Act. We have worked together to put in place civil unions. And now we have continued to work together to assure that marriage equality is available for gay and lesbian couples in the state of Illinois. We have seen over the years people in other states vote for referenda allowing marriage equality. We have seen state courts and federal courts strike down as unconstitutional bans on same-sex marriage. And we have seen state legislatures across our country vote for marriage equality. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that marriage equality is just that. It is about equality. It is about fairness. It is about respect. It is about families. It is about It is about just that, equality, fairness, respect, families, and love. And it is time for Illinois to join 14 other states in the District of Columbia and have marriage equality for all of its citizens. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be home. It's great to be anywhere other than Washington, D.C. Sometimes there are moments in life when something very complicated becomes very simple. It was three years ago I attended the bill signing ceremony when President Barack Obama repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell. At that ceremony, a Jewish rabbi gave the invocation. I remember his words to this day. He said, when you look in the eyes of another, if you don't see the face of God, at least see the face of another human being. I remember that because I thought at the bottom line, that's what brings us together. We are all in this common situation of being humanity. But America, America says we want all people to be created not only in an equal fashion, but in America, all people, all humans, they have the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What we're talking about today in Illinois is offering to people, gay and lesbian, an opportunity for that happiness, an opportunity for marriage equality. It is that basic. And now that the Supreme Court has ruled, I say to members of the Illinois House of Representatives, you will have an awesome historic decision. Will you offer to everyone married in our state, regardless, straight, gay, lesbian, whatever, will you offer them the same federal benefits or will you discriminate against some? That's what it comes down to. My friends in this town, under this dome, in just a short time, the men and women of the Illinois House of Representatives will have a chance to validate what we call the land of Lincoln. A man who in his leadership not only united this nation, but said we will stop, we will begin to stop the discrimination against some of our own. That is what this issue is about as well. Join me. I'm going to be making the calls. I know you'll be making the calls urging the members of the Illinois House of Representatives to bring equality to this land of Lincoln, to make sure that 
men and women, gay and straight, across our state and across our nation have that same opportunity, that same humanity that binds us together. Let's go get the votes. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>